Hi, this is Jared from Shuno, and I want to do a quick bonus video to follow up on the last two videos I just did. If you recall, in the first of the two videos, I showed you how to make this chimney using complex profiles, and then based on a comment from a viewer, I then redid the chimney using only the morph tool. Now, I had one issue with the morph tool, and that's um, using the tube command. I found it a little clunky to select that, use the tube command, and then get this to, you know, accurately trace around all that. I just found it was a little uh, clumsy, and I don't know if that was based on um, my discomfort with the tool or something lacking. Well, it turns out it was my lack of knowledge of the tool. I had another re reader, viewer, um, leave a comment and say, hey Jared, you're missing a really cool function. So now that I know this new ability, I'm going to show it to you guys. And that is using the tube command, instead of tracing a section or tracing a path, we can use the magic wand tool just like we used to create these morphs originally. So I've selected the tube command, I'm going to hold down spacebar, I'm going to get the magic wand, and now I'm going to click on the uh, surface or the what object I want to use as the path of the morph. So in this case it's the top surface, that square, so I'm holding down spacebar, clicking, letting go, and we're done. So that's super fast and I am very grateful to that viewer for letting me know about that trick. So I'm just going to show you one or two other examples of that because it's that's really cool. Uh, so here is a circle and this is going to work as well. So we're going to click on that, tube command, hold down spacebar, click, and we're done. Um, and it doesn't have to be just a regular shape like a circular square. It can be this crazy path. So we're going to select this shape, hold down the spacebar, click, and we're done. Um, you can imagine using this as for a footing or something. There's some really cool options. Um, so for a footing, I'd probably use a complex profile for other reasons. So that's it. The last thing I want to show you is that um, for this trick to work, the um, path you're using has to be, I guess, touching the section. So this section isn't touching, or this morph isn't touching that surface. So if I click, um, it's not getting the magic wand. It's not recognizing it. Um, so you see it's... Uh, or it does recognize it, but if I click, nothing happens. So this path would just have to be moved down to that. That's all. Um, hope you guys learned something new. I, I know I learned something new doing this video, so um, I will talk to you guys all soon. Thanks.